protecting your skin from the sun. You ever wonder how your body heals itself from a wound? Well, I went to LDS Hospital to check out their hyperbaric chambers. It's pretty cool. Check it out. We're learning today about some of the cool things they do here at LDS Hospital to give treatment for people who have some extra special care. And we're focusing on hyperbaric oxygen therapy. I'm here with Dr. Lynn Weaver, who knows all about what this is. I don't know what it is, Dr. Weaver. Can you explain this here for us? Sure, glad to. So as you said, hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So it's a therapy involving oxygen at increased pressure. That's what hyperbaric means. Baric is atmosphere, like around us. Hyper is increased, so, so a lot do? more oxygen, more pressure, hence more oxygen. The body is like a liquid, mostly. And think about a bottle of Coke or something, right? You take mm -hmm. the top of it off, and bubbles come out. <coughs> well, where were the bubbles? They were in solution. So we do the same thing here. We place patients inside this chamber, and others like it, pressurize it, and the patient breathes pure oxygen. So their body takes up more and more oxygen and it's dissolved in their system, and that accomplishes quite a number of beneficial effects. So it helps them heal better. We've got one of those patients here with us, Scott Dahl. Now, Scott, I don't know your situation, but you can't explain for people what it is that you're dealing with where you need hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Well, I found out I had a wound on my foot, and I finally listened to my wife and went to the doctor and found out I'm diabetic. That's gonna be a good plug for her, right? <laughs> She's gonna love that and they suggested hyperbaric treatment and that's helped me heal up much faster now you've done this a couple of times 60 times 60 times 60 times that's a lot what's it feel like in there feels like you're going up and down the canyon and your ears are popping good but just more so intense oh yeah i can imagine and i mean it, i don't know if you want to weigh in here dr weaver but you're he goes, says he goes in there and uh, he feels like he's in the canyon. What kind of pressure are we talking about? Well, a lot more than the canyons, but it's the same experience. So for any of you that are divers, he uh, basically, it's the same as going to 33 feet of water pressure at the ocean. So if you start at sea level and drop down through a water column of a little more than 30 feet, that's the pressure change that Mr. Dahl experienced by being in the chamber every day. Interesting. Can you mind if we see how it works? Is that all right? Yeah, sure. That's fine. Okay. Now, obviously, you can't run the whole thing yourself no, here, Scott. but I can lay down. <laughs> there you go. That's one way to work. So now, what, what's the process involved? I mean, he just has to sit back and relax here, Dr. Weaver, but what are we looking at? Well, Mr. Dahl is very familiar with this, having done it so many times. So basically, mm -hmm. as you can see, they have special garb attire on, mm -hmm. and we would never send a person in really with an electronic <coughs> device because of oxygen and electricity don't mix uh -huh. very well. Okay. Uh, but to simulate this, then you can see the patient goes inside, we get their vital signs and all that stuff beforehand, and then we shut the hatch, and then Rebecca, who's a nurse practitioner, will operate the chamber and it's fairly straightforward you can see controls on off turn on the rate set the pressure they can obviously they relax in here but the idea is to help them heal faster than they would normally do how quick does this machine speed up the healing process well it depends for these indolent chronic conditions like his it takes weeks and weeks of time to get the mm -hmm. a wound to heal properly but for carbon monoxide poisoning, you know, one to three treatments is generally all that we need to do. For decompression sickness, like in divers, sometimes one treatment is almost miraculously reparative. Right, so that's it. Two hours in, that's kind of the normal time frame they spend in there? Yes. Okay, so one treatment versus maybe a couple weeks in some cases. Well, again, for these chronic problems like Mr. Dahl has, Coming in every day, two hours a day for a month or so is pretty common. And along with that, they get wound care, nutritional support and guidance, antibiotics. Uh, we work on getting better blood flow into the lower extremity, sometimes even with surgical procedures. Mm -hmm. And in Scott's case, his wife is happier about the whole process. Well, <laughs> that and think about it, you know, we, we saved we, everybody together working as a team, and Mr. Dahl, of course, uh, he saved his leg. These, they, are, these are limb threatening conditions. So not only is someone actually happy, but there is a lot of serious benefit to this whole thing. And of course, Dr. Weaver, I appreciate you kind of walking us through how this whole process works. We'll have a lot more information on our website at goodforutah.com slash goodthingsutah. What a cool way to get th some therapy. Now, so